is going on guys we have a update video I have a problem I yep, had a lot of cars wanted to show them off to you guys uh, because um, some of them we have some stories from speaking of parts got okay, UPS I guess we should talk about one of the uh, most unique cars we got uh, this twin turbo uh, coupe 04 Mustang GT. It's actually got a really sweet motor. It's got a big bore Boss 5.0 block, forged rods, pistons, ARP, trick flow heads, turbo bullet cams, um, obviously twin turbo. So I'm gonna drop in some footage of when we pick this thing up. What is going on guys? We are back in the truck. We are driving to South Florida. This car popped up on Facebook I think a week ago and um, it's a twin turbo two valve 04 GT. Um, built motor, trick flow heads, cams, um, fuel system, fuel tech. Uh, I had it listed for a price. I told him, hey, I usually pay X for these cars. Let me know if you, you know, don't sell it and want to get it moved. Hit me up like a week later, which is today. And uh, we came to an agreement. As long as the engine runs, doesn't knock, sounds healthy, trans doesn't grind, um, I will pay him what I told him over the phone. And uh, we'll be taking this thing home. Now, from the photos, it looks like a complete pile of shit with nice parts. This is gonna buck like crazy. Um, fifth gear grinds. Fifth gear grinds? Yeah. Like 100%. Like, yeah. Like, it'll go in just when you go in. Um, um, five. That's five. This just sneeze at me? It did just sneeze at you. What was that? It sounded like a backfire, but it's not running. I think it's like the blower motor or something. <laughs> that might be good. Fucking fun. Did you at least have some fun in this thing? No, man. I'm telling you, son. Uh, you bad. <laughs> The car bumper was, was it cracked? It's cracked, but I mean, not that bad. I want you to light on it here, if, if you have it. So, um, Andrew, do you think that was a, a deal? Well, um, we'll find out.
but I'm just gonna walk you around. Um, I actually haven't even showed this. This one, so this is a part out car, but we do have this F-150. It is a twin turbo. Uh, we are gonna be pulling that in and getting that dialed in here pretty soon. We got Coyotes coming apart. Coyotes on decks. So this is a 2011 GT glass roof car. Pretty cool. Uh, so this is gonna be the first glass roof that we cut off of the car. This car is obviously totaled. So, we got this thing coming apart. Fresh Coyote, verified, running. We got several Coyotes in stock. I think we actually have four in stock at the moment. We got one right here, beautiful, on a stand, ready to go on a pallet. So we got that one. This one's coming apart. And, uh, and yeah, we got plenty of stuff going on. We got Turzilla waiting for her new engine. Coming in from Brent Speed. A little hint right there. We got Coyote on a stand. So yeah, let's give you a little walk around. Got the Fox, making some tweaks to that. Baby, kind of hold on for a bit. Ellis car, haven't had time to work on it. We got this silver O2 GT and for part out, engine's blown up, um, but basically full part out on that one. Uh, the Crown Vic has returned. Um, this one's just, uh, was going to be a part out car, but we, uh, ended up driving it. So it's pretty good. We got a 94, 95 car. Uh, this car has a 347 is what I'm told. Uh, GT 40 P heads. We'll go ahead and pop this hood up. So this one's getting full part out, uh, BBK long tubes, uh, Edelbrock upper intake. Um, it's got some goodies, it's got a fresh radiator, um, various different things. If you guys need anything off this 94, uh, the car is so, so clean. FR500s are for sale. We got a lot of stuff kind of stuffed in the car. It's got a T5 in it. If anyone's looking, it's got these cool gauges. Got some cool autometer gauges, uh, some unknown racing seats but we've got some more parts in the trunk. We picked this up not too long ago. The Edelbrock upper, cold air intake. Let me know what you need off this thing. You guys know I don't really mess with uh, the old school push rod Fords, but we picked that one up and uh, yeah, I don't know too much about it. I know a lot about the newer stuff, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be firing that one out. We also picked up this 98 Mustang GT convertible roller. Uh, it's got some BC coilovers on the front. It's got a pretty cool, this is a Racecraft K member. Uh, I didn't even know they made K members anymore. Uh, those of you that know, uh, Racecraft made the stuff for the Celine Mustangs, so pretty cool. Uh, that's gonna be for sale. Um, there's some various other parts in this thing. Uh, front fenders, Cobra hood. Uh, it's got a Celine spoiler with some uh, various different uh, paint peeling, but it's got a styling bar. So it's got a rear end, it's got some suspension. And uh, yeah, so this one's getting fully parted out. Uh, these are just our wheels that we had laying around to get it rolled. Got some black tail lights, Flowmaster 40s. So this one is coming in for full part out as well. This one's the drift vert, which is kind of in limbo for now. Ain't nothing touching my OG car. Love this thing. And my Cobra. Love these cars. So awesome. I feel like sometimes I just need to give you guys an update because I stay, we stay busy with full Monday through Friday. Our business hours eight to five. We're shipping stuff every single day, picking up cars every single day. We got another Coyote car on the way. Uh, we actually have, you know, Brad and his wife working here all the time. And uh, we got uh, a new employee as well, Christian. He is uh, working in there as well, it's staying in busy. Um, yeah, but you can see around me, there's a lot of cars. So I'll walk you through those too. So right here is a V6 roller we picked up. It actually came with some 0304 Cobra OEM wheels. It's actually the primary reason I picked this car up, but it is pretty clean and rust free. If you guys want to take a look at that, this is something that uh, we do pick up from time to time. And you know, um, I was expecting this to sell to uh, someone up north, uh, but 
Uh, my friend Brian, uh, Quad Tip, is actually buying this tomorrow. That's why it's already loaded on the trailer. Uh, we just threw some random wheels on it. So Brian is picking this up. If you guys are interested in a rust-free roller, uh, obviously we're down in Florida. I mean, this thing is uh, pretty clean. If you know Florida cars, that's uh, pretty spotless. So if any of you guys are ever looking for that, let me know. So we have quite a few black S197 uh, shells stripped. Uh, this is another uh, 96 to 98 GT convertible roller, clean title. Also uh, is uh, fairly clean, no rust, um, but this one is clean title. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that as a roller uh, before we fully part it out. We do have a 3.7 and a 6R80 in here. If anyone's looking for a 3.7, we haven't pulled it apart. Uh, we haven't done a ton with V6s, so that one's just kind of back burnered. Uh, this was that Performance Pack 1314 GT, Sonic Blue. This whole line is pretty much ready to go to the scrapyard. Um, we still got more parts to pull off of this one. That one, we still have the 5th Gen Camaro. Uh, we just picked this one up yesterday from auction. We got a blue one, a gray one to get further stripped. Uh, we still have the Mach 1, the Cobra. This is a clean title Cobra shell. I'm hoping that someone will save this car. This car is very rusty though. Um, so hopefully someone will save this. It's clean title 01 Cobra. If you guys are interested, I'll sell it cheap just to see a Cobra make it through. No accidents, but she's crusty. I would love to see this car hopefully brought back to life. Mach 1 is a rebuilt title. Um, it's got some damage in the rear, but it is a Mach 1. So I, I've been holding on to this one. Don't want to send it to the scrapyard if I don't have to, but you know how that goes. More and more of these 1314 GTs uh, just ending up in the yard over here. But uh, these ones got to get further stripped along. But uh, yeah, we got this 11 GT. Has a GTCS spoiler. Actually, this might be a GTCS. I gotta go check. This just came in yesterday. Pretty hard smoked on the side. Engine trans is good. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be a fun one. It's got some Flowmaster axle backs. So this one will be fun. GTCS spoiler. So this one will be really fun to try to get inside. We got uh, another F-150, five liter, four wheel drive. All right, you ready? Well, you wanna explain what we got going on here? So, because we're technically stealing the car, everything that came off of another one of the cars we tore apart, the computer, the cluster, and the steering column, is all now residing in this car. So we hook everything up, basically make the car think that it's the other car. You turn the key, we try pushing in the clutch switch, getting it to turn over, it just, it didn't want to. I don't know if something's messed up in the wiring. This thing did take a nasty side hit. But Andrew goes out there, adds a little power to the starter relay. Boom, there she goes. All right, key it on. Yes, sir. So. Yeah. It's got a little exhaust leak. It's, uh, it's running good. Safe to say, we got a lot of cars, a lot of inventory. Um, I just kind of like walking around because it's just kind of crazy to me. Um, I, we still have the three GTOs too. We pick and pull uh, parts as it goes along there. But uh, yeah, if you want uh, anything, uh, we do have a phone number for Freedom Parts Outlet and uh, obviously on Facebook as well. So even something as simple as like spares, I know some people use these as like budget drag front wheels. Um, these are hundred bucks pop. We got like 10 of them or so. Um, so we have a lot of inventory here and uh, it's keeping us busy. The poor GTOs. This one's a 28,000 mile clean title car. Poor thing. Then the old F-150. This one, I think you guys would like the videos on that one. But uh, yeah, if you guys see anything you want, uh, some fresh wheels off of this gray one are available. There's some nice 20s. 
So we have a lot of really cool footage uh, coming up that's going to come out to you guys. Um, as always, make sure you like the video. Um, if you want to pick up anything from Freedom Parts Outlet, we have a lot of stuff on the website inventory. So go down in the description. I will also do a coupon code for Mustang Lifestyle subscribers. If you type in Mustang Lifestyle, you'll get 10% off anything on the website. Um, yeah, so I think that gives you an update. We're getting pretty close to starting on the black GT500 build. Uh, we just want to knock out Turdzilla here pretty quick. And uh, I think that's the shop update. Uh, these, these boys are already starting on the S197. Probably be on the ground in a couple minutes. Not that fast. <laughs> so this one's going to get the full strip. I think it'd be interesting seeing the glass roof get cut off. So, cool stuff. And we got all this inventory. It's pretty cool. I also have some Windsor Trick Flow valve covers. There's a little bit of a unicorn right there if anyone needs a set. Mm -hmm. 